The Joint Technology Center System Integration Lab, or JSIL, is a leading provider of test tools supporting interoperability among unmanned aircraft systems. The JSIL payload tools are built to comply with the U.S. Army interoperability profiles. These tools are used for requirements development and analysis, test tool development, and to conduct both system and family of systems compliance testing. The military and industry utilize JSIL tools for compliance testing of electro-optical and infrared still and motion imagery, synthetic aperture radar imagery, and ground moving target indicator data. JSIL payload analysis tools utilize a common reporting capability called the Compliance Reporter, which provides a consistent output that the users will become familiar with regardless of the tool they're using. As an unmanned aircraft collects motion imagery data, the data is multiplexed and transmitted in an MPEG-2 transport stream to the ground station. The transport stream comprises an H.264 video stream, one or more metadata streams, and an optional audio stream. The data and video demultiplexer software tool called David validates MPEG-2 transport streams and has the ability to break out individual video, metadata, and audio streams for further processing and validation. The Extensible Metadata Authentication Tool, or XMAT, is designed to verify that metadata embedded in a video stream is IOP compliant. The metadata formats tested include MISB Standard 0601, 0902, 0801, 0806, and the VMTI metadata MISB standard 0903. MITCH is the motion imagery timestamp checker, which can be used to measure individual video frame timestamp accuracy. MITCH extracts frames from an input video file along with its timestamp, providing the ability to compare the frame's timestamp to the time displayed in the image. Steve is the Structured Time Tag Extractor, Validator, and Evaluator tool. The primary function of Steve is to verify that the timestamps embedded in UAS motion imagery conforms to the IOP and MISB standard 0604. The Payload Latency Tools are a collection of tools that measure the latency introduced into the video chain by each of the various components, including the sensors, encoders, decoders, and monitors. Understanding component latency provides insight to the overall system latency, which is crucial to ensuring mission success. The Wide Area Motion Imagery, or WAMI server, and Client Analysis Tool tests a WAMI system for compliance with MISB Standard 1101. The WAMI Client Tool simulates a ground control station so that a WAMI production system can be tested against IOP and the MISB Standard 1101 Command and Control. Together, these tools can demonstrate how the entire WAMI system works. The Night Vision Image Generator, or NVIG, developed by Night Vision Labs, provides synthetic terrain imagery based on actual UAS telemetry. The JSIL's NVIG Interoperable Payload uses NVIG and adds IOP compliant command and control via STANAG 4586 message processing. Similar to motion imagery, the unmanned aircraft collects still imagery data in a National Imagery Transmission Format, or NITIF, file. Some key components of the NITIF file are image data, JPEG or JPEG 2000 imagery, tagged record extensions, data extension segments. The validation and analysis of still imagery are completed using existing industry standard tools. The SAR NITIF Analysis Program, or SNAP, will validate sensor-independent complex data and sensor-independent derived data. 
types of SAR imagery. Snap checks compliance with the IOP, focusing on the native header, image segment, and data extension segment. A suite of Ground Moving Target Indicator, or GMTI tools, are also available. Gavin, or GMTI Analysis and Verification for Interoperability Needs, is a tool to verify that GMTI binary data is in compliance with STANAG 4607, which is the NATO standardization agreement for 4607 data files, and the companion NATO GMTI Implementation Guide, ADEP 7. Gavin is also capable of processing network packet capture, PCAP files. This enables Gavin to verify the STANAG 4607 and ADEP7 time-based requirements. The MixPact tool is the Moving Target Indicator XML Packet Creator. MixPact provides the capability to create and edit STANAG 4607 files, both in binary and XML format. Two other GMTI tools are also available. One is the GMTI File Transfer, or GIFT, which translates GMTI data between the binary STANAG 4607 and XML formats. And the other is the GMTI Streamer, that will stream binary GMTI packets across a network to a user-defined multicast or unicast IP address. The JSIL STANAG4559 test tools test Insili server and client applications for compliance with the STANAG4559 Edition 3. The Server Library Interface Checker, or SLIC, emulates a STANAG4559 compliant client. SLIC commands are sent to the data server, and then SLIC verifies that the server responses comply with STANAG4559. The Client Library Interface Checker, or CLIC, emulates a STANAG4559 compliant server. CLIC will verify the commands received from the test client and respond with compliant messaging. The JSIL has silver test files for motion and still imagery used to test system components. The files are compliant with the IOPS and are distributable within the Department of Defense. For developers, the Silver files provide a very simple and cost-effective way to test their system's ability to read compliant data streams. In conclusion, the JSIL payload tools play a vital role in developing and maintaining interoperability of payload products for unmanned aircraft systems. These products, which are available to DOD, NATO members, and industry, offer a highly compatible yet cost-effective means to develop and test elements of a wide array of payload products for current and future unmanned aircraft systems.